As the loving mother of approximately three to five children, I care deeply about education. School played a huge role in making me who I am, from all the fun extracurricular activities I did to my years on Degrassi Junior High playing scabs, the edgy girl from Saskatoon. Holy frig, chill out wheels, a hickey just means I flippin' care about you. But as important as school is, Republicans only seem to care about one very specific aspect of our education system. I will expand charter schools and provide school choice. Every parent should have the right to choose where their children go to school. Advocating for school choice. We want school choice. Fighting hard for school choice. Great. So if you just reclassify your uterus as a pre-pre-preschool, Republicans will finally let you choose what to do with it. The issue of school choice can be confusing. There are public schools, private schools, charter schools, not to mention magnet schools. How do they work? Much of the school choice debate revolves around charter schools and the use of vouchers to pay for private schools. In both cases, when parents choose to take their children out of a traditional public school, they also take out tax dollars that would have paid for their kids' education there and give them to their new school. But some of those alternative schools can be pretty shady. That's how I inadvertently enrolled my son in a dog obedience school. I tried to get my money back, but the bitch principal wouldn't let me. Private and charter schools can be especially problematic because some states have virtually no oversight for them, like Florida, <laughs> of course, where curriculum can be whatever you want, from Bible-based history and science to watching bad movies all day. Classes may even be temporarily held in a dingy strip mall between a liquor store and a massage parlor, which sounds crazy in any place except Florida, where that's pretty much the state flag. The political philosophy here is that regulation isn't necessary because the free market will sift out poor quality schools, but that hasn't happened, which is why Floridians can still enroll in the Sam B. Scientology Academy and Gator Farm. Charter and private schools can sometimes be great, but they're not a replacement for a well-funded public education system. While school choice may lead to better options for some kids, it can leave many others behind, including students who lack English fluency, those who have disabilities, and those who can't afford to pay the difference between the voucher amount and the actual cost of private tuition. And it's not even clear that school choice leads to a better education. On academic performance, we know on charter schools about one out of six does better than public schools, about half are about the same, but two out of six perform worse than public schools on academic performance. So some school choice options are good, but others are just real life versions of that iconic Far Side cartoon. The school choice movement is part of a larger effort to dismantle secular public education and replace it with free market fundamentalism. That's why Republicans have spent decades undermining and trash talking public schools. You'd rather have school choice than to be stuck in a government school that fails your kids. A nation that raises its children in government schools cannot expect its people to stand for the principles of freedom. The government here spends $9,000 on government schools per child, and it doesn't educate kids. It's not doing a good job. Even God, source of all knowledge, was expelled from classrooms. The reason God was expelled? Shooting spitballs at the ceiling. That's gross, God. Every president since Reagan has championed some version of school choice, but Trump went so far as to hand the Department of Education over to school choice zealot and former member of Bell Biv DeVos, Betsy DeVos. Betsy DeVos made a name for herself undermining our public education system. We've had Betsy DeVos destroy our public education system. Betsy DeVos is does not like public schools. That's sort of been her life mission. Betsy DeVos defunded, defunded the public school system by $9 billion when she came in. We've never had a secretary of education who absolutely despises public schools as she does. Yeah. When it comes to public schools, that girl is poison. Betsy DeVos has compared her work in education reform to a biblical battleground where she wants to advance God's kingdom. And she recently told Cardinal Timothy Dolan about how the pandemic is helping her godly mission. But stage two, I understand, Secretary DeVos, is a particularly passionate dream of yours. Namely, let's utilize this particular crisis to ensure that justice is finally done to our kids and the parents who choose to send them to faith-based schools. Yes, absolutely. I mean, for more than three decades, that has been uh, something that I've been passionate about. She basically has a, what would Jesus teach agenda? Except the real answer to that would be, bread and fish multiplication tables, followed by six periods of wood shop. Carpenter first, son of God second. 
DeVos is ramping up her anti-public school crusade when students need more help than ever. For example, while schools have been relying on remote learning during the pandemic, the digital divide between kids who do and don't have adequate technology at home puts students of color at a disadvantage. Fortunately, the CARES Act included more than $13 billion to help K-12 schools cover pandemic-related costs from laptops for distance learning to PPE for classroom learning. Unfortunately, guess who intercepted that funding? Secretary DeVos issued a rule to allow private schools to benefit from the more than $13 billion in coronavirus aid earmarked for public schools and low-income students. There are estimates that over uh, $1.5 billion of that money will be illegal, illegally, wrongfully diverted away from the public schools and into private schools, religious schools, and for profit charter schools. Betsy DeVos was Betsy diverting emergency funds from public schools that need it. So Sumner and Lakeland don't have to take time away from enjoying their owl egg omelets to worry about getting PPE. Thankfully, the courts struck down her cash grab, but she's pulled sinister schemes like this before and we can't act surprised when she does it again. It's like making Gargamel Secretary of Homeland Security and then being surprised when he starts a Smurf genocide. Killing Smurfs is his whole thing. Just like killing public schools is her whole thing. I mean that and also killing Smurfs. Even before the pandemic, public school buildings were falling apart, which DeVos didn't give a shit about. And now many districts are projecting huge budget shortfalls because of collapsing tax revenues, even as they have to shell out additional money to keep people from getting sick because these maniacs have pressured them to reopen before the pandemic is under control. Fortunately, kids are known for being super clean and never spreading germs, so I'm sure everything will be just fine. The public education system obviously has its flaws, but the goal should be to make it work better for everyone, not to break it up and sell our kids off to the free market. At a time when public schools are in desperate need, we have to help them so they can continue doing the most important job in the world, getting our kids out of the goddamn house.